What happens when you take a bunch of people who don't know much about science and math and put them together? You get a history major, an art studio major, and a communication major who are trying to make a whole lot of coffee. For our final brew, we decided to use the Sumatra beans. We weighed out roughly 136 grams and decided to roast them in the Nesco roaster. We chose this method because we found it to be the most reliable and found that the power usage was not that significant. The total mass of the roasted beans ended up being 135.4 grams and it ended up using 0.23 kilowatts an hour of energy. Overall, in our actual brew of 1000 milliliters, we used 54 grams of beans. In order to save time during the competition, we practiced our skills of heating up the water while simultaneously grinding our beans. We decided to use a fairly coarse grind size. We used the French press because it uses no electricity. Additionally, we think the oil is very important for the flavor. In order to know exactly what amount of beans and water we put in, we weighed our water beforehand and found that we used a ratio of roughly 1 grams of beans to 18.5 grams of water. Put the thing on and we gotta wait five minutes. After five minutes, our brew is yielded. Oh, on, dude, that's not a good method. <laughs> we always improvised on finding the best way to store our beans. It's not a good method? The thing is, there's ten lap sections of this class. And since we're one UC Davis, you have to remember to clean your items very well for the next group. It's not always fun, it's not always easy, but it's always, always worth it.